How's it going guys? Joxel here with another video. I know it's been a while, but I got a really great opportunity. Matt Huffman actually reached out to me from California. He's a fellow developer uh, and wanted to collaborate on a couple of videos talking about the differences in our experience when it came to getting in the industry. So thanks Matt for joining me. Uh, say hello to the viewers and everything. Hey, how's it going? So I'm Matt. I'm a full stack web developer in San Francisco right now. And we're going to talk a little bit about today about uh, coding boot camps. So I went through a coding boot camp. Uh, I did not go the traditional path to get into web tech. Uh, or software in general. So yeah, let's do this. All right. So hey, man, I just got a quick couple questions for you just to get an idea about your experience. So you mentioned that you went into a coding boot camp. What would, what garnered your interest into actually like making that decision? So I think if I look back, I went to college initially and studied industrial engineering. And when I went there, I started out with CS and the first class I took, the first subject we even touched on was recursion. And I told myself, I can't do this. And I totally <laughs> failed the class. So after that, I, I switched majors to industrial engineering and uh, did a bunch of internships in it and really, really didn't like it. So I was like, I just need to get out of here. So I rushed and finished college in three years and then took a year off afterward or like about a few months off. Uh, I, I had a job a little bit after college, but then I was like, I don't want to do this. So I took a lot of time, time off to think uh, and I packed up my car and went out west with no plan. And once I was out here, I landed in Las Vegas eventually with a friend from college. I stayed in his couch for like three months and I did tons of research to figure out what career can I switch into that would be the lowest barrier of entry and also be something that was engaging and interesting. And it looks like software was the way to go. So there are a bunch of different ways um, that I could have gone into this. I could have gone back to college. I could have self-taught, but it looked like a boot camp was the most straightforward and structured way to do this. And ultimately, I reached out to people on LinkedIn who had been to these coding boot camps, talked with them, and one of them um, convinced me, he's like, you should just go, <laughs> just do it. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of like my story about how I went through and chose to go to a coding bootcamp. Hey, that's awesome, man. It's crazy that she just packed up and just left with no plan. I've always thought about doing something like that, but I honestly, never it was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it, man. I believe it. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome that you ended up just deciding to go. And it's always nice that you had a friend that kind of pushed you. Is like, hey, just go and just do it. So yeah, when it came if, to uh, your actually taking the bootcamp, what exactly was your experience in it? So I think the application process I found was really, really tough. So they basically only give you three tries at a technical kind of interview. And if you didn't make through all three of them, um, you got kicked out and you couldn't apply ever again. So I did, uh, I applied <laughs> twice, I failed the first two and I'm super nervous and ended up doing the third time and passed. But they said that you'll be have to put on, we have to put you on like a probation period. So pretty much I had to delay going to this for another six weeks. And then at that point, um, yeah, I was kind of bummed, but I did a bunch of like self-taught classes. Um, I did about like three months of studying before the coding boot camp. And then I did a few self-taught classes um, in that six week gap that I had to extend this uh, time, I guess. And then I moved to SF. Um, and started the boot camp and they were like, we're gonna also put you on another probation period for two weeks And if you can't make it through this, then you're kicked out. And I'm like, what? I have an apartment for three months I already signed a lease. I'm like in a really expensive city with no job um, So yeah, then after that uh, I passed that and ended up making it through so I think at the end of the day Like the coding boot camp it was way tougher than college way tougher than anything I experienced in college and I think it was because of the velocity of learning and just you're always learning and you're in there for basically 80 hours a week. Um, I did the three month version. So I thought that was the best way, at least for me that I could do. I just wanted to get it over with and figure out how to yeah. get a job. And yeah, I think overall I, it was broken into two parts. So the first part, the first six weeks were all learning. We had like two day sprints. And then the second half um, was, were these self-guided projects. And I honestly feel like I, I probably could have gotten the job after the first six weeks. I actually started applying after the first six weeks because I did not want to wait to get a job. <laughs> yeah. um, so I got, yeah, <laughs> that was kind of my experience, I guess. <laughs> okay, wow, man, that's, that's intense. Like, when you <laughs> to, to be in a position like that where you're like, you just kind of dove into this opportunity, but you're already kind of like, you already started having some sort of responsibilities that are already under, like in the works. I can only imagine how much of a driving factor was for you in like making sure that you did your, like you gave your all in, yeah. you know, completing the boot camp, And that's awesome. And it's great to see that you've been successful as a result of that. So when it came to, after you completed your boot camp, after everything, how was your job search? Cause you know, you, like you mentioned, you started while you were in the boot camp and started applying. So like, what was that like? So I applied to a bunch of jobs. I think I applied to about 150, but I figured out kind of more of an automated way to do it. So I just sent out a ton of applications and 
I actually got really lucky. There was an internship that had opened up um, and somebody in the coding boot camp had told us about it, but they said it wasn't public. It wasn't on like public forums online. So I ended up um, going into that and they made you do a bunch of stuff. So you had to make a project, you had to make a video about the project. Um, it was more geared toward like coding bootcamp grads. Um, so that was also really handy. Um, and I pretty much just gave that my all. I, um, in the phone screen, I took that question, refactored it after the fact and then sent it back to them. And then um, I made videos about all my projects and sent those into them. And then they had us like write an essay. So I made sure to write a huge essay that was filled with tons of information. And then on the on-site, I made sure to um, also take that code back after the fact and like change it, refactor it, make it better and send it back to them. And then I took note of every single person I met in that interview and sent them a personalized LinkedIn message thanking them after the fact. So I, I was like in this and I was like, you know what, I'm giving it my all. And in the coding bootcamp they told us don't put all your eggs in one basket. But once I like had this on-site and I was kind of in it, I just scrapped the rest of the job search and focused solely on this for like a full week. And I got super lucky and was able to get that internship. Nice. Wow, very nice. Okay. So when when you look back on everything, on, on the decision to join the boot camp, moving to California, um, and even landing that internship, so would you, would you say that doing the boot camp was worth it for you? I would say it definitely was, but there are things that I would have changed about it. For example, I think I probably would have focused more on my JavaScript fundamentals over anything. I would have spent a lot more time. I know, you know, the goal is to like rush you through this and learn as much as possible, but I think ultimately like the JavaScript fundamentals are what's probably going to get you a job over anything else. I think learning a framework is great, but the fundamentals, that's what's going to, they're probably going to ask you that in the interview. They're going to ask you like all these different questions on the fundamentals over the framework questions. Um, so that was, I guess, probably the biggest takeaway. And then the second one was I would definitely have started the job search probably even earlier. <laughs> I mean, like I was kind of in a point where there's no option to fail. Um, so. I think the coding bootcamp, um, yeah, a lot of it was kind of like self-guided and self-taught. So it's it's really like one of those things that you get to take advantage of fully and you decide how you use your time during the coding bootcamp. I think um, the structure they provide is great, um, but they're not really giving you any like lessons, at least for my experience, they weren't really like teaching us much. They gave us a lot of material that we could learn on our own. Right, wow, that's awesome, man. Well, if hey, I really... were to do it again, and I would have done probably like free code camp, like because that had a very similar curriculum, and like the only thing I really took away from the boot camp, I guess itself was, you know, learning the basics and then maybe some of the career coaching. But ultimately, I think free code camp is a great community, and if I had known that that was the exact path to go to get a job, I probably would have done that. Wow, that makes sense, man. I've used free code camp a lot, especially when I was first getting started. Because that was such yeah. a, like, I agree, the community there is really nice. It's almost like everybody like, understands that everybody's trying to learn. So they're always trying to push you to like, get more information and uh, even introduce you to new like, ideas and concepts. So I definitely recommend anybody who's like, interested to check it out. Well, Matt, hey, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit here and tell me about your experience when it comes to getting into the industry. Cool. Hey, thanks so much. And also on my channel, we're going to make a uh, version about Joel's bootcamp experience. So he has a lot of really good thoughts and opinions about his coding bootcamp experience. And he also did this without um, going to college and getting the college degree. So that's a really cool perspective. Yeah. Thanks again, man. Hey, thanks so much.